All right, and we are here. We're live with the amazing Lizzie and Craig from Twilio. Hi, guys. How are y'all doing? So excited to be here. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, it's, it's uh, it's it's nice to be off mute, Shreya. We were we were like waiting for each other to go there. So good to be here. <laughs> I know I was sort of just like panicking at the last moment. I'm like, okay, the video is gonna start right before we did. Lizzie was tweeting out a little, you know, like get ready for the live stream tweet, and she literally asked Craig for like a pun on the dot, and he he just right. came up with it in like a matter of ten seconds. I don't know how you did it, but your brain genius, Craig. That was beautiful, very quick. Uh, what was the what was the pun again? Uh, I think it's uh, you better hurry or if you want to learn more about courier. It was something in that space. It was just a it was just a rhyme. Just a rhyme. He just like spit it like out and it was like straight back. <laughs> I was like, if someone asks me something like that right before a live stream's about to start, my brain blanks instantly. It just doesn't work. And wow, I was very impressed with that. Um, anyway, if you guys are joining from the comments, we're live both on YouTube and LinkedIn. So please feel free to say hi. Uh, let us know how you're doing, where you're joining from. And as we're building out this project with Twilio today, if you have any expectations, anything you want to see or learn about, we have the experts in town. So let us know and they'll help us kind of navigate the project as well. Um, before we get started, my name is Shreya. I am a developer advocate at Courier and I'm the host of this weekly live stream workshop series called Decode where we just build out cool projects and we talk about notifications because that's what we do for a living. Um, and we also have Lizzie and Craig joining us as guest hosts and they're gonna help us build out the project today. Lizzie and Craig, do you guys mind uh, just introducing yourselves? Oh, to me. <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie. Uh, hi, I'm Craig. Uh, I am a developer educator here at Twilio. Um, been with Twilio for about four years. Uh, I love Twilio. I think it's really fun. I think it's a really fun uh, place to build, and therefore I love my job because I get to help people learn how to do that and uh, 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 get building stuff and people build the cool stuff. So, love it. That's my job. Well, Craig, that was so good because I agree. Uh, I'm Lizzie. She, her pronouns, developer evangelist at Twilio. I say I've been here about six years uh, because I was an intern, so technically kind of five full time. And I also six. I, yes. I see six. I see six. I like to add a year to my age. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I also love the Twilio products, so I find them fun to build with, and then it, it's then fun to share with others how to build similar apps, how to use Twilio, or just how to build in general. I love it. Um, and we have Ben Link joining us in the comments, who was our guest host from last week. Um, and he said, Gangster Craig, with the rhymes, I sense a new video series in the making. That would be actually epic if this becomes a video series <laughs> of rhymes that you spit out on the spot. <laughs> Um, no pressure at all, though. Um, awesome. So yeah, today we're going to be building um, Actually, let me backtrack a little bit. Last week when we were joined with Ben, he helped us sort of look into this e-commerce demo website that one of his coworkers had built out. Um, and we sort of went into this website and we saw how Segment is really great at picking up user events and storing them and then sort of giving developers options of like everything you can do with those events later. And one of those options is sending like really smart notifications based off of your user activity. So for example, when you are, um, when a, you know, your end user is using your e-commerce website, they're like looking at all these awesome products that you have, they add some stuff to the cart. Inevitably, a lot of people are going to leave stuff in the cart and forget about it. Um, how do you sort of like remind them, hey, by the way, you remember you wanted to buy this one thing, it was really important to you. Um, for example, I always, you know, buy stuff for my dad's birthday is coming up next week and I have stuff in my cart and I'm like, I know I'm going to forget to buy it on time. So I need those email reminders just to be like, hey, remember, you need to get this on time so that it arrives on time as well. What's he um, getting? What, what's your dad getting, Trey? Um, what's he getting? I haven't yeah. decided yet, but there's like oh. a little wash. There's a tie, you know, the typical stuff. I, I okay. need to be a little <laughs> bit more creative there. Um, <laughs> but basically last week we built up some like automated uh, automations where we were able to send users 
reminders, right? And if they were to have already checked out and bought that item, then those reminders would be canceled. Um, those were sent out with email. Since we have our Twilio experts here today, I figured we could sort of do a similar demo, but instead focus a little bit more on email, maybe even like a multi-channel experience where you're looking at really personalizing those notifications. If it's something urgent, for example, you know, you just made a purchase. That's something that I would want to know about. That's a really good place to send an SMS because I want to make sure no one else is like randomly using my account and making these purchases um, <laughs> versus compared to like a marketing email or something where it's maybe not necessary for an SMS. Um, so we're going to talk about transactional notifications. And before we get started, do either of you want to sort of like try to explain to us what transactional notifications are to you and maybe some great like places that you've seen transactional notifications notifications either in your day-to-day -day life or at work or anything like that yeah I, I could i could pick that one up I, I think you did an excellent job there of that that's a great transactional notification of hey there was a purchase that just got made this this was this you you know like you you exactly. get those now like uh, more and more like something happened on your account i want to make sure that's you like the, when the bank does that the, the bank's a great transactional notification as well something happened on your account that you weren't actually using your phone for and then you get this notification of like hey just so you know somebody spent some money on your credit card it's not typical i, I love where ai is getting there right like the ai is bringing all of the this like knowledge of like this is not normally what you do you don't spend that much money at this place and you're not in florida like that sort of like all that that yeah. smarts and then you get this transactional notification uh your password changing is a good transactional notification liz you got one i like it when like stores and shops give you a promo code they're like oh yeah. you left this like here's a promo code to give you like a discount to like encourage you to actually buy and i'm like oh and then when they don't send a promo code they're just like you left this i'm like well you're not really motivating me to complete the transaction so like a promo code is very like like stuff when it's on sale i do love i also love promo codes <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good example. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. So let's just dive right into building this out. Um, there's going to be multiple steps to it. Craig, do you mind sort of like being our guide um, Ooh, and I'd actually building to. out the project? Awesome. Yeah, Thank let's do it. Know. Let's do it. I, I like, uh, let's learn on the spot. Let's learn on the spot. So the first thing that we want to do is get this actual project set up. So I think, Craig, you already have a link to the demo. Um, Sharla, do you mind sending that link in the chat as well so everyone has access to it? If you were here last week, by the way, this is the same project. So if you've already built it out, you can continue building on that one. Um, I'm going to share your screen now. So you'll awesome. see this e-commerce segment demo website. And you can go ahead and clone it on VS Code or whatever um, ID you awesome. prefer using. Is my screen looking okay? I've, y'all enhance at me like. like yes, I, I love the fact that you just like automatically zoom into everything. Um, Mike is joining us from LinkedIn, and he said, "I love it when the blood donation clinic sends him a text message." letting him know that his blood went to someone in need. Okay, that's something that's really valuable, actually, because it sort of um, incentivizes you to, like, continue doing this good deed in the future. It makes you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm, like, actually, you know, you're doing something pretty big when you're giving away um, your blood. So that's really awesome. Um, and here we have... Sorry, a it, uh did an oh. smart autocomplete for me. And I was like, oh, oh no worries, no worries. About? There we go. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to go into this e-commerce segment demo site that I, I cloned down. And I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code. Fantastic. That's where we want to hang out. And I'm going to make sure that this is embiggened as well. All, All right. right. Um, and the next step is if you could open your browser, we're going to head over to app.courier.com. Um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and create a new workspace. I think you're gonna need to sign up since this is your first time. So Ooh. go ahead. Uh, this is always the, the question. It's a dev, I'm gonna do GitHub. I'm gonna do All GitHub right. out of my Google. Let's oh, go with GitHub. The connected integrations on the side. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I missed that. I, 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 all right, here we go. So I'm gonna, I trust y'all. That was kind <laughs> of a weird URL there, but I trust it. I trust it. Here we go. Okay, let's pop them back. All right. Oh, you already have some workspaces. That's really Look that's at that. great. I know these people. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Who that? Who? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> the second one. 
<laughs> oh my god all right so let's go ahead and create a new one because i don't think jeff's gonna want you to like start poking in his workspace <laughs> yeah he probably would it looks like it already, i'm sure i'm i'm positive i do one in there yes <laughs> all right let's get me set up oh that's cute i like that look I at like that the design that. yeah oh well, it says hi craig as it, soon as it oh. <laughs> so nice look at this I love, at, go ahead sorry oh that's magic that's real nice oh that's real nice that's clever <laughs> what's the what do we want to call this thing what are we what are we doing we're doing e-commerce e we're doing transactional notifications today let's so do it trans transactional it's a terrible name for a workspace but that's all i could come up with on the spot um that's a lot of letters characters yeah <laughs> we got it's, dot, dot, it's, dotted. yeah i won't actually show up in your email and then mike is saying two uh twilio do? superheroes that's right what, what is deep pro i'm sorry Depro's, uh, he was one of the workspaces there. That's uh, David oh, okay. Prothero, and uh, he goes by Depro. Nice. I was um, like, I'm right, missing so some flank. Go ahead. What do I, what do, what do I do? This is, this is a great question, and, the, and maybe some feedback. I am a marketer and an engineer, and oh, I'm just kidding. I'm doing engineering. Right. That's the so question how did you hear about entry career? for developer advocates. Uh, I heard it doing it live. That's how I heard about it. Here we go. So I, heard, I heard about it, I think, Trey, because uh, I saw I saw the thing of, on Decode with, with Ben Link. Uh, oh, That's cool. Yeah, about. you were in the chat. I, I remember that. that in there. I should have put that there. Yeah, Ben shared it. Also. Thanks, Ben. All right. All right so let's so customize we... your experience. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to say, we like SMS over here as well, so I'd go ahead and add that in. Um, this is sort of just like Courier learning from you and seeing what you enjoy using. Since Courier is a multi-channel notifications API, you can decide whatever you prefer. Awesome. We're going to go okay. with SMS and chat. Yeah. I like I can send to Slack, huh? That's yeah, yeah. Slack, Discord, awesome. Microsoft Teams, everything. All right. So we'll I'm build gonna... with Node.js today. Okay. I was going to say if I'm going to yes. fall on my face, let's do it in JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Craig, that was beautiful. <laughs> All right. And if I had to choose one, of course I'm going to go with Twilio. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the other ones, but yeah, I think I'm going to choose Twilio. I think that makes a lot of sense. All right. Look. So now, oh, Whoa, my account said. All right, so um, let's talk a little bit here about my account said. So I have a demo account that's that's up, uh, and it's in my uh, it's a demo bill here. Demo yeah, bill, show nice. You. I'll show. Ooh, I will show you. I, I clicked the wrong button there. I need to go back to the. I want to go to the home here. Demo bill dashboard. And on here we have this thing called an account SID, which is a string identifier, uh, and it's this here. And I'm assuming that when I paste on this uh, screen here, this auth token, that it's going to uh, show my super secret auth token. And if we could make sure that that doesn't happen, that all right, I'm going to remove oh. it from the screen really quickly. I'm assuming it's a free. Uh, and, and do I need to have a, a messaging service SID, or should I should I build that now? Yeah, you can build that now. Whenever you've pasted your auth token, and let me know. Or do you want to do uh, that first? Let, let's let's do the messaging service set, and then we could come back and, and sure. do that. Okay. Let me know. Yeah. Awesome. I've right. added back to the screen. Okay. Sweet. So we're we're back here. Um, uh, what it's asking for there is a messaging service set, and I, I I think what this is assuming is that if you are a Twilio user, you probably know what this is. Um, as it turns out, when you build these messaging apps, it turns out that you end up needing to scale, and when you do um, a best practice is to have one of these things that we call a messaging service. So I'm going to, I'll go build one of those if that's, that, am I going the, am I going in the right direction here, Shreya? You're doing perfect. That's awesome. exactly what it is. Yes. Awesome. So we're going to build, we're going to build this messaging service. And uh, what's really neat about this is that um, uh, with Twilio, you can buy phone numbers, right? So you can buy these phone numbers and they're yours and you can use them to send out text messages. Um, and you end up buying a lot of them because it's fun. Like I said earlier, like it's this is super fun. You end up building a bunch of stuff. Um, and sometimes you have a lot of numbers and you want to configure them because you want to send out to a global audience. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to build this messaging service and it's going to kind of hold all of the options and the configuration and all the bells and whistles that you can do in one little place so that we can talk about it with a unique ID. So that thing was asking for a messaging service, SID, and that's what this is going to generate when we're done. I'm going to build this messaging service and then we'll put a phone number into this messaging service. We'll put a, what's known as a sender because you can send from all sorts of different things, uh, but we'll put a phone number in here. Uh, so let's build it. So, so this is for our uh, transactional 
Uh, and we're gonna, I'm gonna say courier notifications. I think this is probably what you should do is my guess. Um, so so um, when you build this messaging service, one of the things that we do is we ask what your use case is because uh, we can help you uh, send more messages that way. If we know what it is that you're building, we can help you send more things. So uh, let's see what we're gonna do is we're going to, it's not gonna be two way, right? Is it, are we gonna do two way stuff, Shreya? Uh, no, today we're just going to be doing one way stuff. Do one way. So we're just going to notify my users. So we're just going to send a one way message uh, to our users. I'm going to create this messaging service. Um, uh, <laughs> I think uh, so. So here's a place where I could add. I could add these different senders. Right. I could add a phone number. I could add a short code. That's the little. Uh, I could do an alpha sender or WhatsApp as well. So I could put all these things into this messaging service. Uh, I'll, I'll put a phone number in here later. I think we'll go we'll go through that later. Um, so for right now, I'm just going to keep keep going uh, through this. Uh, there's some uh, configuration stuff, like I said, so you can have one place to configure it. And then there's also this compliance info uh, because the the regulation landscape is bizarre when it starts coming to to messaging uh, and things. And one of the things that recently popped up is this uh, thing where the the carriers want to help. Uh, people who are developing applications on uh, these platforms to be able to send messages better. So there's this thing called A2P10 DLC, which uh, to Ben's point of like sounding like a gangster rapper, that kind of sounds like a, that's that's where I could maybe I could start with something like that. But this is uh, application. So U.S., uh, United States, application to person, 10 digit long code. That's your phone number in the in the U.S. Um, and this is uh, you register it so that people know who you are. So it helps to stop spam. Right. So that's what they're, they're kind of right. after. there. And you can build this sort of thing. So um, uh, but this helps. So so if we know what you are, you can kind of associate it with this messaging service. And once we have all this information for you, we can help you jump through all the regulation hoops. So that's that's all that stuff. So there we go. So now I've, I've, I've completed this. I'm going to view my new messaging service because all of that to say we wanted to get this messaging service SID, which is a string identifier. So I'm going to grab that here and hop back over to Courier. And I'm going to pop my messaging service SID there, which starts with this MG. You'll see my account SID uh, string identifier that starts with AC. All right, now I am ready to pop in my auth token, which I don't want anybody to see because that is the keys to my Twilio car. And, and no worries at all, we've removed it from the screen. Awesome, thank um, you. And while Kirk's doing that, this is sort of like a, a unrelated topic, but I uh, saw your project, Lizzie, this chat GTP project that you were working on earlier, uh, GPT, I always mess up those letters, the order of those <laughs> letters. Um, could you tell us a little bit about it? That was a really cool thing. Yeah, I guess like a few months ago when chat GPT went viral, I was all, oh my gosh, I love that. And you know what would, would make it even better? It goes over SMS, but it's like a question you probably should ask yourself if you work at Twilio sometimes. I was going to say, that's such a Twilio thing to say. <laughs> how, how do we make it, this better? It was in the browser. I was all, well, if they have an API, you can probably make it over text message. And then I use the OpenAI API. Uh, the, the OpenAI API uses the same machine learning model as ChatGPT. Although yesterday or two days ago, they released an even better model that they called the ChatGPT API. And I was all, do I have to update my blog posts now? But it's like pretty much pretty much the same thing. Just like I think slightly better model. But slightly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every every engineering launch or update is like, oh, it's the same thing, but just slightly better. <laughs> yeah. So I guess like the app uses Node.js and Twilio serverless functions on the back end to host the app. Uh, so you can text into a Twilio number. Text it a question, text it like, give me a haiku about Courier and Twilio, uh, something, and then it will text it back. So it's like Ooh. ChatGPT, but SMS. Nice. And it's an open source project, and you can just sort of like get it up and running as quickly as you need to. Um, what I love about it is like sometimes I'm going over to like ChatGPT to actually ask questions. Um, and it like isn't working because it's down or there's too many people using it or something. I love the idea of just like being able to pop up your phone and just asking questions to a number that you already have set up. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bring your screen back, Craig. Um, you've added your all three of the keys that you were asked to. And now you can go ahead and start testing it. So you can just copy that little code snippet on the top right, um, assuming that you're using a Mac. 
and then open up your terminal and paste it in there. Yes. How did the T-Rex feel about after a set of bicep curls? Dinosaur. Very well done. <laughs> oh Very God. well done. <laughs> Love it. Um, so did you actually end up getting that text? I feel like that's a really important part of this demo. I also went and uh, put my phone number into that. Yes, I did get it. I did. I said I did get I did it. And I got it from uh, a number that I bought because uh, I, I noticed that it was going to need to have a number. So I built that messaging service. I also went cool. and I bought a phone number and put it. I was going to ask if that's your real number, if that's a demo number, if we could display that it on screen. Yeah, that was that was my real number. So anybody who wants to, uh, no, yeah, it's, it's, we're good. We'll edit it out afterwards, guys. Act like you didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So now that we have our little dancing head pigeon, um, we can go <laughs> ahead and continue. Let me try to remember what the next steps are. All right, we already cloned the project, so we can start setting up segment. This is the part that is the same as what we did last time. Um, let's head over to segment.com log in and make sure that the local website that you have is connected to your segment account as well. All right, here we go. Let's see how we do here. So, okay. I didn't probably have this set up a little bit better than I did. Um, so I'm probably going to need to, I guess it probably is okay to do my security. I'm going to do my security code on the screen here. I, I've removed it from the screen while you're doing that. You're just so case. polite. You are so polite. Thank Don't want to, you know, risk anything. <laughs> <laughs> Someone getting into your segment demo account. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. It's not a live demo without a few leaks. Right. Exactly. I, I feel like have... people are pretty respectful for the most part, though. I, I've leaked my API keys way too many times, and so far I've been safe. So, yeah, that's good. Same. Um, uh, I, I'm getting it. Oh, just check your. Oh, I'm getting an email. Okay, gotcha. One second. Let me open my email. Ooh. Um, while you're doing that, just like adding on to your project hype, Lizzie. You did a workshop, I, th I think for that same project at a meetup recently. How did that go? Oh my gosh, Craig was there too. It was- So good. Everyone was there, it was huge, yeah. <laughs> it was called Developers and Dumplings. Some people will say devs and dumps. I see developers and dumplings. And yes, I added some slides, made some slides and had people text in to test it out showed how I built it. And based on what people texted in, one person got a stuffed plushy dumpling. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that. I think I saw that on Twitter. It was adorable. <laughs> how many um, How many dumplings did, ended up being there? Lizzie, there was a lot of dumplings there, a lot of different types of dumplings too. <laughs> For a second, I thought you meant like, People like you're I know. dumplings. I was like, are, do you call them dumplings? I was like, that's adorable. I do now. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> then it's just dumps and dumps. <laughs> <laughs> it was seventy-five ish people and uh, seventy-five ish devs and thirteen hundred dollars worth of dumplings. We have a comment from Dominic saying devs and dumps needs to be on other days other than Tuesdays. <laughs> we are working on it, Dominic. This needs to be an all day, every day dev and dumps party, honestly. <laughs> it really should. It should. 24 7. Um, how's it going on your end, Craig? I'm uh, I'm trying to get my multi uh, authenticator app to, to log me in. And oh my gosh, I just got in. Oh, nice. Awesome. I, I am here now. I don't necessarily, Ben might have had a different sort of uh, workspace setup. So I'm not sure how far we're going to be able to, we'll, we'll try. We'll try. Yeah, we don't, we don't need anything too fancy. All we need to be able to do is go into our connect. Uh, I think it's under connections to our sources. Um, and then we can hook up our website to our sources. Okay. So, so I've got my web. Do... Yeah, go ahead. I I've got my website uh, down. Do I need to start my website up? Um, yeah, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and I'm going to assume that I need to do npm install. Yep, that is correct. 
I'm glad you assumed that because I forgot to do that the first time and then I panicked that it wasn't working. Um, we are running into some errors. Let me check yeah. out why yes. that's happening. Uh, found React from the root. Fix the upstream dependency conflict. Uh, let's try it again. <laughs> when in doubt, just try harder. it again. Yeah, all right. Hit it, hit it a little harder. Let's see. Um, Absolute worst case, I could just try to pull up the project on my end. Um, but let's try to see if we can fix this. So it's having a hard time finding React. That's <laughs> what it yes. looks like at 16. Um, uh, I don't know why that would be. I'm not doing anything. Let, let me look. Let, let, I haven't looked in this at all. So all right. Let's dive in. Let's dive in a little bit and just see what's why, why can't it find. Whenever I do see a yarn.lock. I see a yarn.lock. Let me just yarn. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Oh, I don't even have your. <laughs> I don't think I have it either. Wait, whenever someone says dive in, I always imagine like actually diving like... in. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Running. So, this is going to take a minute. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to update this stuff. You know, like this is frustrating, but like imagine how hard this would be. Like I, every time I, I run through something and it takes time like this, and it's like, oh, this is taking so long. But like, imagine what it's doing and like how hard it is to be able to do what we're doing. We're like, we're just going to have this like totally random framework that's totally moving on its own pace and doing its own thing. And we're going to do this thing over here. It's, it's incredible. It's, we live in an incredible world that we get to complain about sometimes. But like this yeah. used to be a lot harder to do. Thank you made and that we, sound so empathetic. You said I know. <laughs> It's like, go computer. You're doing great. Yeah. yeah, I'm proud of you, Yarn. You tried really hard there for a bit. Like you, you came out so here and thought progress. you were do better. Yeah, I know, right? And and Yarn tried to push stuff forward, and I'm sure NPM was like, oh man, I have to do that now. I'll do that. You know, like there was all sorts of like stuff that got recoil has an incorrect dependency. So we're at the same thing. It was a warning here, not an error. Okay. So maybe we're going to be all right. We might be all right. I don't know. I don't know all the drama and the beef between the yarn and NPM crew, but <laughs> I'm sure there's some, right? Oh, there's always some drama. <laughs> that's, how, that's how competition works. Oh, all that, right. That, I yarn great. installed the thing. So, do you, what do I, how, um, anybody know what I do to run it? Yarn, yarn run. No idea. <laughs> oh, oh, yarn start. Yarn. Okay. Yarn start. Do we need to do build first? You're right. I should read what it says. Yarn build. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yan build. Yan, <laughs> yan, yan build. Oh, it's yan. Yarn build. Next build. Yarn build. Why is it All next? Right. That's giving next JS. Huh? Command failed. This is always fun. Ahoy, fam! Oh. Says Niels. Hi, Niels. How's it going? Oh, Niels. Uh, just... Niels, hey. We're just Niels, trying to will figure you out fix a... this? Real quick. <laughs> will you please fix this for us? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, am I running? Uh, is my node is my node at a weird thing? <laughs> this is pinned at maybe. What you know what I always it? love is when we have the highest viewership when things aren't going well <laughs> during the live stream. <laughs> I think that people like to watch this. This is like America's like funny some videos, right? Yeah. <laughs> 16 bit? I don't know. What what do we want? What do we want to have here? Is that how you do? Uh, let's try 14. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like 14. And then we'll try it all, all over again. While you're doing okay, that, so I'm sure. says all I need to do is do RMRF star. That sounds. <laughs> that's not. That's not gonna do anything. Good. Well, that that smelled better. That it's smelled it's smelling better. good. It's going. It's working. We're building. What did you? So I was using. I was using a version of uh, Node uh, that the person who built this library uh, was not using. 
And apparently, it looks like underscore hash uh, is no longer available in the version of Node that I was using. But so that's built. And now we're going to do a yarn start. We're getting oh some very we great advice um, from Niels in the chat. If you want to check it, I'm going to remove your screen from the, the screen, Craig. Oh, um, so we don't get the thing? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yes, I tried. You know, I tried that earlier when you suggested it, and my my laptop got really hot. And then it just <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You said JK. Oh, oh, right. okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> awesome. Um, let's go ahead and pull that project back up, and then okay. So we're ready. I'm wait. I'm uh, I'm on on localhost. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my house. Ooh, hello. awesome! So this is the segment e-commerce demo website. Um, and okay. now what we want to do is go over to our segment sources um, and add this in. <laughs> Neil right, so said, disclaimer, to... I'm not liable for this code. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. People let's always add that disclaimer in after they say yeah. it. <laughs> like JK. <laughs> all right. What's said has already been said, Niels. It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go ahead and click JavaScript since our website is JavaScript. Um, Help me out right there. Where you, so uh, you can filter type. through it. Yeah. It I think you be... you might be. I'm 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 new to the the segment stuff. I'm I've loved watching it, uh, mm -hmm. and I have done a couple things. But just so All we right. we're on the same page, I think you might be. Trey, you are. You <laughs> are a week more advanced than I am in here. So we're going to call this. Uh, awesome. You can call it. Yeah. Transactional notifications just to keep let's it. Do it. Let's um, do it. Again, we're really bad at naming things because that's yeah. just how things are. But <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to name this. I'm going to put a label of label on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to, to localhost. Yeah. Yes. Is that right? Or do I need to? Do you want I don't to... even think we need to add a URL right now. You can, right. I guess. But yeah, right. we can go ahead and add the source. Um... Yep. All right, here we go. I'm also just like hoping this works because I barely remember what we did last time. All right, we do need to add this snippet into our project. No, no, okay. no, we don't. We I just... think. Let me try to remember last week's live stream. I believe this part has already been done in the demo website, in the demo application that we have um, oh, since okay. a segment expert built it. Uh, okay. But if you are building your own project, you need to make sure to follow this step as well. So gotcha. let's see. We need to go into debugger on that segment page and uh, on the, gotcha. or let's yep, go yep, to yep. settings. Yes. Settings. Yes. Okay. Is this we good? need to get the right key. That's the main thing. So let's head well, over. Is this going to be? I, I'm unfamiliar with what's going to happen when I click this. If um, you you'll get a right key, which is private, but you can delete the source afterwards. So you should. Oh, it's going to generate a specific one for. Oh, look at you. Thank you yes. for knowing for knowing that. So analytics JS is what I want. I guess I'm let's go that ahead. Feels and right. Try that. Let's do that. You know, I'm no. definitely missing some stuff. But we'll we'll poke around and find it somewhere. Yeah, we will. That, I like it. API keys. It sounds like what the what yeah, you're after. Yeah, try API keys. And this is going to be specific to the source that I'm. Can we? Maybe we can take my screen off and I can then. Yes, uh, go for it. I'm more familiar. Thank you. Um, Lizzie's saying that's giving here some advice, but that's just what I would do. Not saying to do it. <laughs> All right. Oh, so sorry. I am going to. I'm gonna. Um, uh, I'm gonna copy these off and put them in a place. Uh, where I can see them. Well, did you um, end up finding a right key in there? There is a right key in there. Okay, and I, so I, what you I'm want gonna have is just one, to one save second. that right key in your config dot I think js file. Oh, there's a config dot json, and I see personas JSON, API yeah. key, analytics right key, and that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna. Go we can show my screen real quick because I'm not I haven't put it in there, but I'll awesome. Let's, Let's do that, and then we'll, then we'll drop back. So I've got config.json open, and there's this uh, uh, wonderful object here that has this uh, API as the key, and there's this analytics right key. And on my API key, this is where I'm going to drop that. And I am assuming that what that's going to do is it's going to give my uh, th this this config.json is going to load when we load uh, the web server up, and it's going to have access to this analytics right key. And therefore, I won't ever leak this on the thing. Um, Dom, who's on the call, actually showed me this cool thing called Cloak, which I'm going to turn on. Okay. So 
so it should i think it will cloak this screen but um let's oh that's that. cool okay yeah it's a nice little plug-in um uh I haven't used it enough yet to be comfortable to know exactly <laughs> if we're safe. So let's uh, let's let's take my screen off again, and I'll go grab right. my right key and I'll put that in there. All right, your screen is and off. Then, yes. I might. There's also a, a source ID that I might need. Do you do you know if that's true? I don't think so. We didn't do it last time, so let's just try okay. it without it, and then if okay. things go horribly wrong, we can come back to that. All right. All right, awesome. so I have. What um, you might well, need to one, do is one second, rebuild one your let's... website. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's take my screen deck because I think I left the. <laughs> I'm yeah, also working on one. Still off. I haven't. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Del delightful. Thank you. Um. So we. Uh, we okay. So I've got I've got that added, and I am going to. Uh, I am going to yarn start. Uh, no, yarn build, is what I'm going to do uh, again. Dominic said cloak should be mandatory for every DevRel. And I'm so glad that you brought it up because I didn't know that it existed and I'm glad that I do now. Is it just like a extension was, what is it? Or an application? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a, it's a Visual Studio Code extension. And awesome. I think, I think Dom, Dom can, Dom will correct us in the um, chat. Uh, uh, Cause Dom, you're part of the show now too. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, if uh, you are on a page like a .env file, right? It will, it'll just kind of blur it out. For you. I don't Beautiful. know if it's like using a regex on like what looks like API keys or if it's using a file type. Um, but uh, when when it when he showed it, I was like, oh my god, I needed this forever. You know, because like how many times have we leaked our phone numbers or our other stuff, or especially our API keys, which is of course yeah. the most dangerous. Gets That's you in the great. Most trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but like you said, a lot of people are very nice about that when you do do it. So so we're we're built. We're, we're all, all right. Built we're built. Here. I'm gonna add your screen back in right now. I'm going to start. I'm going to restart it. And what we should see is when you have, what are you going to restart? Yep. Okay, so go I ahead. built and I restarted. And if I go, uh, you want me to go to my, my local host, right? Yeah, go over here and just click on stuff. Just start shopping. <laughs> well, shop for your dad. <laughs> this what would coming. I get for my dad for his birthday? <laughs> shop all, all right. men. There's nothing. <laughs> There's no men. I've, I've heard about this problem, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. I don't know what's going on. All right. Here, do I need to start a database? Is there not a database? Where's this data coming from? Oh, there it is. Okay, there you it go. Just it just took some time. Let's see. What is, dads like slippers. I don't know if your dad's a slipper guy, though. That's true. I feel like all dads are slipper, slipper guys. Um, I like a flip-flop. I don't know about... Okay. Flip-flops can be slippers, though. I yeah, think. that's what I was going to... I was I like sort of thinking of the larger <laughs> umbrella. <laughs> oh, really? Is this, is this a hot dog? Is this like a hot dog thing? <laughs> what, what, what was that? Was, is it a... You know what I'm talking about? I have hot no idea what you're talking about. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? It is a flip-flop a slipper. A flipper. <laughs> a flipper. A flip, it's a flip. That's, it's too hard. You can never have this. Ooh. All right. Yeah, pretty nice. I think this this will look this is nice dad, dad wear. I like dad. how you know nothing about my dad, but you're like this is gonna look great. <laughs> I think it would look great on it. He's got pretty big feet, right? Sure. <laughs> I told you. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> All uh, right. So uh, he probably likes the blue. Am I right? Oh, is I a hot dog a sandwich? I think that's what you were you were talking yes. about. Yeah. <laughs> a hot dog is a taco. <laughs> <laughs> this is really oh, great. We won't we won't take this off too. There's a there's a cube thing that Brent Schooley likes to do. Brent, he's a Twilion too. He he a pop tart ravioli is that's the great question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, there's a, a cube rule and that tells you that. Yeah. Can I do it real quick? Is it okay? Or can we get a little silly? Just for oh a yeah, go for it. People, go for it. People need to get a little silly. So uh, cube rule hot dog. Cube rule. It's a so, cube rule. Uh, of food so, identification. Yeah, right? our hot dog sandwiches. And so, the, like, these are classic sandwiches. Am I a sandwich? And so you don't know. <laughs> New York said yes. It's really nice, great, because it's... And there's there's your Pop-Tarts, our kind of ravioli, right? And then and then Pop-Tarts gets in the game, right? <laughs> and... Uh, oh, shirt. <laughs> and it talks about... It, it, this is really... It's really smart and really... And, and I'm not part of what we should be doing uh, right now, <laughs> uh, at all. But, Structural uh, pairs I, ingredient. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, 
and it really does help with the debate as it happens. Yes, so it's a very help. important debate. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, yeah. Also, that <laughs> form of content, just that format with the screenshots, the tweets, that is perfect. Yeah. I would yeah. just gobble up any content in that format. Yeah. Um, awesome. Let's build it so, after this. <laughs> what we want to see is we just want to make sure right now that our segment um, segment is able to actually see the stuff that you've been doing on this website. So let's head back over okay. in there um, and head over to, I think it's the debugger that he was, that Ben told us to look at. Yeah. Uh, transactional yeah. notifications. All right. Debugger. debugger. Yes. Awesome. That's me. So this is, that's you. That's everything that's that totally you've me. been doing. Yeah, you've been clicking that's on you, stuff, you. viewing things. Um, sweet. So the next step is actually making sure that we have we're now able to send notifications based off of these events that you're doing, right? Because ideally, right. once you leave your stuff in the cart, we want courier to be like, "Oh shit, he has stuff in his cart, but he hasn't done anything with it," and so now we need to remind him. I so mean, quite literally, these are the shoes for your dad, Trey. This is the example that you gave in the beginning. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. I needed that reminder. Dad's birthday, and yeah. you're going to get this reminder, and we're going to help you uh, with courier. <laughs> we're actually going to buy something by the end. No, <laughs> I'm not going to buy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I hate these shoes. Why did you? Do that? <laughs> <laughs> do what you got to do for the live stream. <laughs> um, so right. let's head over to Courier and make sure All that right. now we have access to these events in there. Um, sure, I'll let's just click. I'll do this later. I'll do this later. I yeah, because we already have Tilio set up. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we can head over on the left menu if you click on mm -hmm. channels, and then you can it's just. just Yes, that's, kinda, that's, that's a good idea. That's, that's probably too big. But all right, so I'm going to click on channels over here. And then just find segment. It should be somewhere in there. You can just command F it or use in, the filter. I'm sorry, where? In, um, on the right where you see search. Oh, okay. I'm if you sorry. just type segment in there. Um, yeah, we can close that. There. What does it mean? Send to the best of? Like, um, oh, send hmm. to the best of. So when you have multiple different providers, you can either select that, say that you want to send to all of your channels or you send to the best of your channels. So if let's say you had like send grid and Twilio in there, it would try to send with send grid. If something went wrong, let's say your API key was configured wrong or something that it would automatically go to Twilio after that. Oh, uh, I wasn't playing a judgment. I was like, are we going to do Twilio versus Stingrid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually just like has its whole, like, I prefer Twilio. No, no, it doesn't do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going. If we, we'd be happy to write that if you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, awesome. And then let's go ahead and copy our courier API key from here. Um, head over to segment again. And now we're going to add courier as a destination in here. So if we go to destinations, gotcha. sweet, gotcha. awesome, add destination on the top right. Niels, <laughs> I said I have some opinions. <laughs> All right, so. Um, awesome, and we can go ahead and, I can you try to search for courier? And if courier doesn't show up, then I think there's something we yeah, got some people go. to talk to right then so we got some people we got to make some calls <laughs> <laughs> all right so make i'm going to configure uh, uh, I'm, I'm jumping ahead you got it you got it no me. you're good you're you did the right thing did you clicked I, did on courier it? yeah that was I, it was intuitive it was just intuitive <laughs> so configure courier which is what we want yes and i've got my uh this is what we built this is the 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 jammy yes and the destination exactly. name Oh God! This this is for me point. to do. This is for me to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's actual notifications. Yes. We're never. I'm going to call it destination just in case it gets confusing. It's like. So what this is going to do? Do you, either of you want to take a stab at what this does? Yeah. Or uh, Lizzie, why don't you want you want to do this? You've you've got uh you've got more more skills talking about the segment, but. I've been wondering, because like this looks different than what I did. I think like either mm -hmm. the console updated or like, 
Well, I never used courier in it, so maybe okay. that was it. Fair. Yeah, that's a really fair so, point. So Let me, we'll, uh, I, 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 I can, can I take a shot at this? Yeah, please do. Please and do. then, and then uh, ben, ben Link is in the chat, I, or was. Maybe he's in a meeting, slightly paying attention to what we're doing. But um, so what happens is we got a source, right? So the source is the website, and the source is going to track events, and it can send to other places. And it's kind of neat because it's like a bus, right? So mm -hmm. so it sends these events, and, it, and then it can send to different places. So I could send this to my data warehouse. I could send this. Um, all sorts of uh, to marketing uh, things. So like all sorts, uh, now, now I'm starting to get out of my realm of like Marketo, I'll say the word Marketo, that's the stuff that people talk about. So you can send you can send information into your Salesforce, that's a, that's a destination. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send these events into Courier and Courier is gonna do stuff with that. That's the the destination, oh. how'd I do? I was that was a very eloquent, yeah. Go ahead, Lindsay. I liked, I liked the bus metaphor, Craig, yeah. but I was wondering if Courier was the destination or like, a middle man, middle, middle person. But I guess like I think it's it's one of the bus stops. <laughs> Oh my it is. Yeah, it is. That's correct. Um, it is a destination. And what's going to happen is that once we add our API key in here, um, Courier mm -hmm. is going to be able to access all of these events. And then through Courier, you'll be able to send um, notifications based off of those events. So you might say, oh, if someone clicked on this product, that event will be accessible in Courier. I want to send a notification when someone clicks on a product or something like that. Um, yeah, it's like a like a handler, right? For if, if in a, in JavaScript town, like if you're like a, a on click handler, you can you can put a bunch of stuff to say like listen to when this click happens. So basically, we're saying like, hey, when something happens on this web, it's specifically in the source that we did, when something happens on this website, this is an event that's happening, and I want all of these things can listen to it. I want to send yeah. it to all of them, and then Courier is going to do stuff with it. And I think Lizzie actually did bring up a really important point, um, which is that Courier as an API is not the one that's actually sending out the message. It would be Twilio that's sending out the SMS or send it, that's sending out the email. That's what you were trying to get at. Yeah. It's like, nice. one, I feel like Courier is like a partner. Yeah, we're a partner. Because it's like Twilio is in, <laughs> in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the, the actual first step that we did was set up Twilio. We got those API keys right in the beginning as well. Um, and you can sort of decide how you want to do it. Ben gave you a five out of five stars. Oh, I, that, that, has, that has made my month. That I, yeah. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> if if um, Ben says you did it good, Ben is so good at doing this. So like, yeah. I'm, I'm thank you. I'm I know I'm like struggling to keep up with everything you did last week. I'm like, oh, maybe we <laughs> click on that. <laughs> <laughs> it, is my screen down, Ashraya? Uh, it's there. I'll remove it. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. So you're going to go ahead and paste your API key in there and then save Which, it. Which uh, I did. It's is saved it and it's, it's back. Yeah, uh-huh. Awesome. Yep. Um, and then let's play around with that website again. Okay. All right. So, so you know all what? of the previous events aren't going to show up, but now everything that you do should. Okay. This is such a dad shoe. That's such a dad shoe. <laughs> It's like a, is, that, is it like a snake? Is that like snake skin? Is that what it's trying to do? It does sort of look like that from afar. I don't know what it's trying to do. Um, yeah, I or like a my dad would disown me a... if I got him that though. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> put it in like the card and you're gonna think about it. <laughs> go, go Swift, go, go Swift. Joe, I, I don't know. I don't I feel like know. Like there should be is. a T after the S. Yeah. <laughs> I think they were trying to be I, punny, but they're they don't have Craig, you know, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the attempt. It was a valiant attempt. I would call these Nike skin. Like that's what I would do. Like for like yeah, snake skin. Nice you know, or snake. Snikes. <laughs> <laughs> Snikes. <Okay. laughs> Nike's taking notes in the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, let's head over to Courier. And now right. we're going to, this is hopefully where the magic happens. Let's go to automations and then create. Oh, did the events show up over here? Maybe reload this oh, page. Oh, oh, look at you thinking ahead. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to go to to my destinations, right? I should be able to see it there or no? Do I see it in sources? Ideally, you should see it in Courier. Um, if oh, things are working out oh, well. Oh, so, sorry. So then leave me. Where, where am I going? Let's try reloading this page. Okay. Um, 
oh, this happened last time too. Oh my God, I made the same mistake. Okay, when we added the API key in segment, um, there should be a little like a toggle thing that we have to, so on transactional, yes, on this page where it says transactional notification destination, if we click on that, um, and Ben disabled. also remembered yeah. that. Um, yes, Boop. yes. I booped it. It's yes. been booped. You did it. All right, let's play around with the website a couple more times um, and then maybe oh, actually right. click on the cart um, since that's a uh, thing that we're going to want to see later. Dad's getting some shorts. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to click that. <laughs> All right, and, and uh, I don't want to check out. I just want the cart. Sure, I looked at my yeah. cart. And then, okay, cool. That's now let's point. head over to Courier again, the channels page. Um, and did anything show up? Scroll this down. Is, am, am I on the right? <gasps> yes. <gasps> okay. Look at that. We did it. The magic of making sure things are active. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet. So now you can see how Segment was able to track those events and then send them over to Courier since we added Courier as a destination. Let's now try to... Ooh, this is where ChatGPT comes in. So let's go over to the, des the designer first because... Before we send notifications, we need to actually create them. Um, but, you know, we're going at it quickly. We're in a live stream. We have, like, not that much time left. So we want to just build a notification quickly and then get to the automation. So if we click Create Notification, um, the first one that I want to ask you to create is a cart checkout reminder. Oh, let's go back. This is the automated, like, template that everyone gets when you first click Create. But we want a blank one. And yeah, let's click create notification again. Awesome. So this is what a normal create notification workflow should look like. Um, let's type cart checkout reminder. You okay? Everything awesome. Is. And then use AI to generate notification content. No way. Yeah. What, do you, what does that mean? What does that, what does that mean? Like, what's the what AI the, on the back end? We'll I see. Love I love that button. That is such a good <laughs> button to click. Oh my gosh. All right. Was general notifications right? I, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, general notifications is just, okay, that's side note. Just like forget everything we're doing right now. When we yeah. talk about like user preferences, we want to make sure that users are able to sort of decide when they want to get notifications and which channels they want. Um, and so within Courier, you can create topics and say, oh, these are marketing notifications or these are urgent notifications. So right now, this notification has been pulled into a topic called general notifications. You can change okay. that name to whatever you want to later. Gotcha. Yo, this is, look at this. this is, is that AI right there? That is AI generated right there. So you oh, can man. go in and edit things if you that. want to, but you don't, you know, have to right. start from scratch. I'm just add a smiley. I was going <laughs> to. Very I'm, important point. I'm curious what Craig's most used emojis are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be a burrito. It Definitely would be muscle, muscle <laughs> rocket, big popcorn, the shrug. <laughs> The shrug, yeah. <laughs> we need to add a channel though we don't want email right no that's, we can change this to text so let's go ahead and add um sms sms perfect totally, yep. uh-huh that's what i want i don't need to search it's already there the best of <laughs> right <laughs> the best oh, of and it's got it's got send good integration too nice mm -hmm. and slack that's awesome all yeah. right so and we can click on so sms on the left and make sure that our SMS is actually designed correctly as well. So you can just drag and drop all of these um, little. No, all these little no AI goodness. widgets. Yeah. <laughs> Dear customer name. Where do uh, I put that into, Oh, yeah. message body. I got gotcha. you. Dear customer name, burrito. Look at it. Remembered my burrito. Uh, <laughs> we wanted to remind you that your dad's birthday is coming up and you left stuff in there. Sincerely snoring. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Personalized. That's so fun. That yeah. was so fun. I I'm feel glad empowered. you're having a good time. <laughs> and as a developer, that didn't, that didn't feel too, like, hand wavy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> awesome. And let's go to the top. Let's publish this notification. Um, just... That is where? Oh, oh uh, right, right there. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Right where it says publish. That's what you <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> 
Um, and what we can do, I think there's another one that we can create, which is like a thanks for shopping with us if someone happens to complete the entire workflow. So do you want to go back and create another notification template for that? So we can go yeah. back. Do you want me all to? All the way. I, yeah, I yeah. do. I absolutely do. I can show you. <laughs> that too. So I'm going, I'm going to go back to my channels. Right? You can go back to designer directly. Now we're going to need some help. Design. Oh, designer. It's, it's highlighted. I wasn't seeing it. Okay. So I'm going to create a new notification. And this is for like. Thanks um, for shopping with us. Just like completing the workflow. Thanks for shopping notification. And uh, yeah, I want that. <laughs> I want, Does I anyone ever not check that do. box? Right? It's actually a new feature. We only released it like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> what, is like it based on these words text. that's here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it going to do it? Thanks for it. should. <laughs> Can I do it? Is, is it? I don't want to make, I'm going to make it. Let's, let's, I'm not going to. No, I think it'll do it. You should go for it. Let your creativity it? take the wheel. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. Let's, let, thanks for thinking of your dad. Oh, because that's the it's it's the birthday. We're getting a birthday <laughs> present <laughs> notification. So like you'll need a little bit more to, to get this notification. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. AI. <laughs> Your dad's very lucky to have a child as thoughtful care as you are. Treya, look at this. <laughs> it's beautiful AI. Wow. OK. All right. We're going to add uh, an SMS. We're going to send this as an SMS because that's what we, we want to do. Because like as soon as you get it, we want to tell you that you're great. And I'm going to click uh, that. And I'm going to say, dear. Oh, I love the jack and drop. It's really, it feels really good. I know that you're jealous that you're not doing this right now, everybody. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to take some time. To, this, it's thinking of your dad and especially, I cannot not let AI say that to us. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say thanks again. I'm going to put it all in there. Just put everything in right? there. I love it. It's like, P.S., thanks again. And I can add <laughs> stuff, right? I can add stuff if I wanted to. You can add stuff. You can add images, oh my gosh, and links, and it, An MMS. Even though this says SMS, you can make this an MMS. You Beautiful. Can. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want it to break anything. Awesome. awesome. So, and we can uh, publish these publish. changes. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Um, and then what we can do is head over to automations. So now that you have your notification templates, you know what they look like. Now we want to be able to actually create an automation that takes the segment event and sends out these um, templates. So yeah, let's Sweet. go ahead and create one. Let's do it. I saw this. I saw this on Ben's. Yes. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't have the black and white mode because it's not out yet. That was just like a sneak peek for last week's oh, live stream. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's go click on the right in the middle of the page. Do you see the word that says start? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can change the template name. Go for it. <laughs> nice. And then we can click on start, and that's where you decide what your trigger is. So our trigger uh -huh. is going to be segment, and it's going to be a track event. So in the second op list of options, if you click on track, um, and that. you can, yeah. So this is this knows because of the the sauce that you wired up for specifically for segment. If there was other things, it would. Well, this will show up automatically, so not necessarily just because you added segment. It's just an option available to anyone. Um, when you click on track, that's the part that shows up. So hopefully there's a drag and drop. And these events are only showing up because your segment. Wow, that's neat. Events. Yeah. So we're going to um, product added is what we're going to shoot, right, first? Is we can right? do product added. Um, I think... Yeah, we can do product added. Let's do that. Because I haven't checked out yet. That's why. Is yeah. it using the events that have been send, sent? I haven't checked out. That's why we, we won't see that there yet. Is that yeah. right? Okay, yeah. Cool. All right. So so we're going to do product added to the cart. And then that's when we want to say the, don't, the shopping cart one. Yeah? Yes. And we can okay. go ahead and click on. Actually, just try to, try to do what you think is intuitive. I want to know how. So audience events trigger this automation. Um, well, you already have a trigger set up, so we don't need this. We can just click on the little okay. minus sign, and then you want to click on new step. Oops. It, well, oh, I, no worries. I, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> I clicked the wrong minus. All right. Okay. Awesome. And then click on new step. 
on the middle of the page. Sorry. Uh, I see. I see. No, 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 no. There's a lot going on here. And then we want to send the notification. So we'll click on the first option. Paper airplane. Awesome. And we should Mm -hmm. be able to add a template ID. So you want to go into your designer. You can open it in a new tab if that's easier. Is it Um, not the template ID on the left? So that's different- the template ID for that automation template. Okay. We want the – that's a great question. Um, definitely something Because there's multiple templates. There. Yes, exactly. Um, and we can click on the little um, settings icon next to ch- uh, cart checkout reminder. I almost said chart checkout reminder, but <laughs> um, <laughs> copy that notification ID. This so notification this is- ID. Exactly. Okay. Yes, paste that's that in the, the template. In the template, Okay. Mm-hmm. And you want to send this to just whatever phone number that you want to add in. I'm going to take it off the screen. Yeah, I don't want to send it to the... You can actually send oh, it to oh, the user that's using some, it. something in segment, but I haven't, yeah. I haven't sent, sent my phone number. Let's try it. You. Let me see if I can remember what we did. I think it was refs.data.user underscore ID. And it might not be underscore. It might be a capital I, but yeah. I think let's it was try capital it. I. That was the okay. casing That was a thing problem. from last time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Um, but I, don't know, wanna... I don't know if I'm signed up in my local jammy that way. You know? I think it should it should be um, okay. based off. We'll, we'll just try it and see. So... Okay. Right before refs.data, you're going to want to add quotes around that. Oh, and okay. let's also add, um, I think it's user underscore ID colon and then refs.data.user ID. I feel good. And then let's close the quotes after user ID and then reopen them before refs. Gotcha. We're making a, a JavaScript object where the key is user ID, and that's the gotcha. Okay. I thought that felt a little strange. I feel better. <laughs> I feel better. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is like pulling. Who? This is this is uh, inside the refs is inside of courier, but it's what's being passed across from segment. You know? This is yes, exactly. Um, Let's try publishing this. What does it say? Invalid field definition. So we're missing the quotes around user ID as well. Oh. Yes. Oh, JSON. It's JSON. All right. I feel better about everything. (laughs) And now let's say send Um, this message. And we'll need to go up and publish this if we scroll to the top. Sweet. Um, And then click on invoke. Once we invoke it, that's when this thing is live. And then once your user is interacting with the actual um, website, it should work. Click create test event. Um, We can just create test event. We don't need any test data. (gasps) You need a charger. Oh, I need a charger. Um, Let me go uh, get a charger. Okay. Is that okay? We okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. We're good. Okay. We're good. Yeah. All, right. All right. Talk amongst yourself. Okay. <laughs> I was going to be like, sure, we should like do a dance or something. <laughs> do a dance or something. <laughs> you have a guitar in the background. That's oh perfect. Oh my God. Yeah. I didn't know you played. It's a ukulele, but it's just an unusually sized ukulele. So it just looks like a guitar from far. But it's relatively small. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. You know what I, I did? I got this in like November of 2021, I want to say, when I moved to SF. Um, I was like, wow, I want to learn how to play the guitar. And then I bought it because I didn't want to invest in like a really large instrument. Um, and I said, if I learn it in a year, then I can tell myself to get an actual guitar. And I didn't learn it in a year. I only learned like four chords. Um, and then, hey, Craig, we're just Hi. talking about ukuleles. Um, and now I just play every single song, especially every single Taylor Swift song, with just the four chords. <laughs> so it sounds C A minor. Let's hear it. Let's hear a Taylor Swift no. song. I'm ready. I'm not getting paid enough to do that. Hint, <laughs> hint. <laughs> Embarrass <laughs> myself? No. <laughs> Almost got a, this thing charged. 
super close. Ooh, Seth gave us some really good advice that's going to be useful. Um, he said that we want to change up our JSON. Uh, so let's head back into the design. Thank you, Seth. All right. Uh, I am heading back to the design, which was the here. cart checkout. Oh, yes. No, that guy? It was it was in the automations page. Well in the automations. All right. Yes. This this jammy. Here we yes. go. So we need he said, do you want to just copy it from the comment? Are you you're, you're able to see love, the comment? I right? would love to, but I'm gonna copy it from I, I see the comment, yeah. Oh you see so, the comment, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the comment. So that's the whole two there. So the two is an object, right? Yes. User ID dollar ref data uh, user ID. Close that, Jamie. Close that, Jamie. Let's get a, we don't need a trailing comma. <laughs> right. I think we're good. That feels, nope. Doesn't like it. Something's wrong with that. I don't know if we is should it, be adding. Is it JSON? Quotes. I think we need to add those quotes in. Bring it. Bringing the quotes back. Yeah. Let me see. If that's available right now. He might have a meeting though. So many meetings. So, everybody, check my code. Oh, sweet. He can join. I wonder if Save I have there. an extra. This might be an extra jammy here. That, it might be like that. Oh, good eye. Better. What's up to originally? It still says invalid field definition. Maybe. All right. We have Seth joining in and helping us out with this part. Hi, Seth. How are you doing? Do you want to introduce yourself real quick? Hey, hey, Craig, Lizzie. Great to meet you. Um, yeah, Seth the Courier. Uh, was just checking you all on the live stream and uh, saw you trying to work with some of the refs in the uh, current automation. So you actually got everything almost all the way here. It's uh, just going to be user underscore ID for the key um, there in two. But you got all the stuff cleaned up. Um, it looks okay, awesome. I'm being told that I have an invalid field definition. Out, I'm going to trust that it knows. Hmm. Oops, I'm quick on save, and I don't mean to. Should, should it? Is it JSON? That's correct. Is it gonna, you got is it it. Gonna, okay. There we go. It is. Thank you. Awesome. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like uh, crashing, crashing the live stream, right? <laughs> oh, this I'm is glad like you were able to <laughs> programming. This is amazing. Let's do this all the time. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So we can go ahead and invoke this now. Um, mm -hmm. We also have Rishab joining us in the comments saying hi. Hi, hi Rishab. Hey. And we can invoke this. I, I think we should publish changes first and then oh. re-invoke it. Just cross, in our, case. cross our fingers. <laughs> they have been published maybe cancel it and then reinvoke yep. it just yep. to be safe it, it what, what can we what is this what is this deploying yeah, just go, yeah. go ahead and cancel that, that one that's running is that what invoke means here what does invoke mean run like, will that run the curl request exactly Basically, uh, behind the scenes runs that command for you. And it knows your auth token because it says your auth token here. Uh, we do oh, it on the cool. back end. Okay. We're not actually exchanging oh. the auth token, but yeah, we, we mimic it basically. Ooh, one thing I do want to make sure is that we have a user in your courier account saved with the same user ID that we're sending this to. So what you're gonna to wanna to do before we test it out is head to the users on the left menu um, and add a new user with cool. whichever phone number you want to save this, send this to. Yeah.
All right. Is are things going slow? Is it just my Wi Fi or Same for me. Weird? Okay, cool. I think yeah. Back, canceled and <laughs> stopped and refreshed. I think Craig is freezing up. It's, uh, it's Ooh, my okay. computer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to refresh this page. Oh, there it goes. I feel, I feel good. And I'll, it might also be my computer. <laughs> I think it was his computer. <laughs> oh, Craig. All right. <laughs> office, I thought like the office Wi Fi would be good. I think, well, his laptop was like almost out of battery, so it could just be that it was struggling to keep up over there. Yes. Um, it's a good time I... for a ukulele interlude, right? <laughs> no, so <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> awesome. Craig's back. Hey, how are you Hi. doing? Good. Sorry about that. I don't know what that was. That was, uh, I think I, I, uh, I did a... I did something memory-wise on the computer, <laughs> a little leak or something. Um, so here, here's the page. So here's the amount of users. Oh, you're going to need to screen share again real quick on StreamYard. If you can. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> it sort of just like removed all of your screens. Okay. Awesome. It's got incoming. Here it goes. There it is. Sweet. Yeah, go ahead and um, open up Courier, and then I'll add it back in. All right. Here we are at the user screen, which you asked me to click on before it all blew up. <laughs> <laughs> so we can create a new user. Um, and I think the way I have it written out right now is Courier Test. So let's just add Courier Test. Um, Normally, when you're building out a proper website, you're going to have like a proper authentication system built in. This demo website doesn't. So we just sort of have, you know, whatever. Um, can you capitalize C and T? I sure can. There we go. Awesome. And then I'm going to remove uh, your screen from the actual stream itself. And then you can go ahead and add whichever phone number you want to be able to send these messages to. Very slow. I hope that my stream yard is not the same again. I don't know what's going on. No worries. Um, <laughs> All right. I, I don't know if it's my battery is charging. That's what's happening. Um, I will put my phone number in. Absolute worst case, we might even want to just put this stream on pause for today and then come back. Craig, oh boy, how do you feel delayed. about that? I can that? hear myself being delayed. Uh, okay. Let's see. I see. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm go into the, the office <laughs> sorry i'm coming i'm trying to come back i'm trying to be here can you hear me all right yes we can no. hear you do you want to stop screen sharing i feel like that might be part of what's eating up um the connection awesome how about we just take a break for today <laughs> we'll put this on pause and then we'll reschedule the rest of this live stream since we're almost out of time anyway thank you so much seth for joining us at the very last minute and making yeah, sure that this automation works um it's sad that we weren't able to see it kind of actually in action but we'll make sure to do I that next time this what? is a cliffhanger this yeah. is a cliffhanger <laughs> we, we just said we said it, it's this is what this is good you have to come back and see what happened. What's what, yeah. going to happen? I loved it. That was really fun. Trey, Trey that was really fun. The, the the setup there was really fun, and I Thank I you. know it's going to happen. I I feel it. You With feel your it. Dad's birthday though. That's the thing. We have to get this done before your dad's birthday. <laughs> That's right. So we'll be we'll be back before March seventh. We'll see you guys probably early next week. Um, I'll schedule this out. We'll tweet about it. Um, make sure everyone knows. Rishab says suspense. Dot 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 dot. Awesome, Lizzie um, and Craig. Is there anything that you want to say? Any last thoughts before we leave? 
Craig, any videos to plug? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. There's a um, we have a uh, Twill. Where? Well, I mean, oh, can I put it in the comments? Will that work? Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you put it in the private chat, I can add it. In the... Oh, you, you put it forward. Okay, yeah. So, so um, we anything you want to learn about Twilio, we have a, a level up uh, program. Anything there that you want to do, if you you thought that like. Uh, Oh, that's neat. I didn't know I could send uh, text messages or ooh, uh, s send email and things like that. So come come check us out. We got all sorts of educational stuff there. Um, fun stuff like this. This is very fun. Trey, thanks for thanks for having us on here. Um, I think we have a very similar uh, uh, funness. And I love the app, the drag and drop in the AI, yeah. uh, a checkbox that says let AI do it for me. Ooh. Well, it should auto check. It should auto check. Yes. Yeah, Seth, I don't know if you saw that part of the live stream, but they were very impressed with Tejas's mm -hmm. chat GBT. Um, <laughs> we have uh, we'll have some more stuff uh, coming uh, next few weeks, months on there as well. So hopefully we can we can stream some of that stuff as well. But um, yeah, excited to see a bunch of it take hold. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks Bye. for letting me crash. See ya. Thanks.